Hi, good evening, you guys. Hi, good evening, teacher. Hi, Veronica, Edwin, Jorge, and Mayra. People, how are you? Welcome. Good how evening. How, how are you? Hey, Jorge, I, well, I am okay. Uh, I am well rested. I'm okay. I'm fine. Thank you. How about you? Teacher. I'm Como se se diría este estamos al oblivio de como un este idioms. What? Estamos al oblivio. Estamos en el en el en el oblivio de la semana. Algún idioms parecido. Mm, no idea. I have no idea. I don't know. Honestly, I don't. I don't know. But I can. I can look it up. I can look it up today. What is Wednesday, right? Yes. Yeah. I do not have an idiom for that. No, we. I can look it up. You know. But tell me. Tell me. How are you guys? Como están? How was. Uh, how was your day today? Sick, teacher. Good. I'm so tired, teacher. Why? It's apenas es miércoles. Yeah, it's I am teach um, my new co worker in training. Okay, I understand. He is okay. is is um. How se dice? Como Estresante. Stressing. Stressing. You feel you feel white out. Listen, white out. White. White out. Lo veremos ahora, por cierto. And that is that is an idiom too. It's an idiom. We're gonna see that one later on. Yes. White out. It means you are very tired. Or or stressed. Yes. Hello, Jancy, Christian, Andy, and Paola. Thank you guys for joining. Uh, let me just ask these people. Mayra, are you going to be as a listener? And Paola, what about you? Let me know, all right? Let me know, let me know. Yes, teacher. Okay, thank you, Paola. What about you, Mayra? Yes, teacher. Okay, I understand. I understand. Thank you. Thank you for letting me know. Hello, Brian. Welcome. Brian, are you Good going to teacher. be a listener? Yes, yes. By, by, by my work. I, okay. I finished my turn at the 11 o'clock. <laughs> by the way, this wow. is the reason. Wow, 11 o'clock. Your shift. Yes, yeah. All right. Uh, working, working at night, people, is difficult. It's difficult. I understand. I understand. Well, for me, it, it is not difficult, you know, because I am in my house. Uh, uh, I don't know. It, it's something psychological, you know. Yes, I don't. I don't feel like the pressure. I don't usually get tired because I am in my house. So, maybe yeah, that is it's a, complicated. A, uh, but uh, by the by uh, by the eat. My my time for it is so 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 bad. L I I have a. It's limited. Okay. I have my a uh, my dinner in the tw twelve twelve o'clock. <laughs> wow. That is not good. That is not really good. But Brian, thank you for being here. Uh, Marvin, hello, Marvin. How are you? Thank you for joining. Good afternoon, teacher. How are you? How are you, Marvin? I'm tired, teacher. <laughs> I can imagine. It's Wednesday. We are we are getting tired on Wednesday, and tomorrow we we'll, we will be more even more tired than today. I understand. I understand. Denise, hello. Thank you for joining. Hello, good evening, everybody. 
Good evening. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Okay, we're just 11 right now. Uh, Mayra is going to be as a listener. The same for Paola and Brian. And, uh, well, who else? Se fue la que estaba aquí también decía alguien al principio. Five. Yes. Very good, very good. Thank you guys for joining. It's Wednesday. Today will be, or today is the last day of unit number three. Or session number three, I mean, uh, talking about the platform or regarding the platform. Today is the last day. Well, not today. It will be tomorrow in the morning before 8 a.m. Okay, you have to you have to upload or finish the activities before uh, 8 a.m. tomorrow. All right. I need you guys to work on the on the activities today. Yes, if you can finish them today. That's okay. That's fine. That's perfect. Because right after class, right after class, I am going to go to the platform to see who's worked on it to update the grades on the Excel document that we have. Yes. yes. And remember, I'm I'm pushing you to do this to avoid to avoid the the that to do like everything at the end. You know, we will have to do many activities and. I'm trying, I'm trying to avoid that for you guys. So today is the last day to work on the platform well, tomorrow morning, but I think I think it's better for you guys to finish the activities today. Yes. I uh, to be honest, I have not I have not uh, gone to the platform. I have not seen the platform uh, in these past days. I am going to do it right after class today. So if you have if you haven't done anything or worked on the activities, please do so today. Yes. All right. We're gonna start. Thank you guys for joining. Hello, Anna. Thank you for being here. Raquel, hello. Thank, thank you, me. Raquel, for being here. People, it's a beautiful day. No, <laughs> it's a beautiful day, right? Es un día hermoso. No lo creen. Yay! <laughs> okay, only the this is the one that is excited. And, and los demás no, no tienen mucho, mucho, mucha emoción. <laughs> all right, all right. Yes. Let me tell you that today uh, in the morning at the school, I had a very difficult time because uh, I don't know why my voice was kind of uh, messed up and it hurt. Because I was I was kind of screaming, you know. It's difficult. Uh, I have a difficult class in the morning with these students. They don't they don't really care about about the classes. They don't care about any of the classes. So I have to scream to get their attention. It's kind of difficult to deal with these people. Yes. All right, let's begin. I'm going to take attendance and then we're gonna start with a, a short review about yesterday's class. Let's begin. Ana Victoria Galán. Present. Thank you. Andy Ernesto Martinez. I, I cannot hear you, Andy. I could barely hear you. Brian David Ramirez. Present. Thank you, Brian. Carlos Alberto Orrego. No. Carlos Eliezer Dimas. Christian Alexander Rivera. Present, teacher. Thank you, Christian. Denise Alejandra Zuniga. Present. Thank you, Denise. Diana Yamilet Maravilla Navas. Not yet. Edwin Heriberto Delgado. Present. Thank you, Edwin. Ismael Ernesto Boyat. Jorge Ernesto Hernández. Present. Thank you, Jorge. Let me see. Marvin Josue Cortez. Present teacher. Thank you, Marvin. Mayra Elizabeth Lasso. Present teacher. Yes. 
Thank you, thank you, uh, Mayra. Paola Geraldine Santa Maria. Thank you, Raquel Elizabeth de la Rosa. Present. Thank you, Raquel Sandra Ives Mendoza. Sara Rachel Salazar. Veronica Lisset Portillo. Presentation. Thank you, Veronica. And Jancy Andrea Solorzano. Present, teacher. Thank you very much. Let me see what's going on in the group. It says, uh, okay, I have issues with Zoom. This acá. No sé quién es, tiene una imagen de gatito. We will. Present, teacher. I agree. Waiting for you. Wait. ¿Quién me dijo eso? Who said that? Hello, Diana. Pues ya, lo que dijo Diana. Sí, sí, sí. Ok, oh, Andy, thank you. Andy, thank you, thank you. ¿Quién es el gatito? No sé quién es. There's a cat, no tiene nombre, pero es un gato, parece. No saben quién es. No, teacher. No parece un gato, parece. I don't know. I don't know. Teacher, creo que yes. es el mío. I'm sorry? Es el mío, el mensaje. Ah, oh, okay, okay, thank you, thank you. Tenía I, problemas para entrar. All right, but now you are here. But now you're here, that's good, that's good. Okay. Uh, yesterday we were talking about phrasal verbs, yes, and uh, it was the first part or part number one. I shared with you a, a PDF document through the WhatsApp group. In that PDF file, you will see a lot of phrasal verbs that we can, you know, use. Yes. All right. Yes, uh, and uh, well, that was part number one. I think tomorrow or the next, um, in the next couple of days, we're gonna continue seeing more phrasal verbs. There is a part two on Monday, no, right? On Friday, we reviewed or practiced idioms. Well, today we, we have the second part. Today, we're gonna see a, 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 another, another list of idioms. They are easy to understand. We're going to take a look at them and we're going to review it, review them and practice, okay? Let me show you the phrasal verbs that we studied or that we practiced yesterday. All right. Uh, well, I did not change the day. Look, no cambia el día. Cambia la fecha y el nombre. Todo, pero no el día. I told you that today is the class number 15. It's the last day of unit number three. Yes. Well, let's begin. Do you remember the phrasal verbs? Guys, can you mention the phrasal verbs that you remember from yesterday? From make, yesterday. Make, have, wake up, get up, get up down, get off. Uh huh. Yes, we got those ones. Do you remember the phrasal verbs from the book? There were six or seven of them in the book. Clean up, I think. Which one? Turn up. Clean turn up. up. Exactly. Turn turn off. Yes, exactly. Turn off. I'll call up. Uh -huh. Exactly. Call up. Yes, call up. Exactly. The you other phrasal verb is this up. Oh, yes, seize up, exactly. Seize up exactly. and the uh, acting up. Which one? I I don't remember, uh, but the pronunciation is act, uh, make, making or dating, dating up. So, I don't remember find this, this phrase of the... Make but, up, people. No. The pronunciation is a rate. And the last one is a 
It, uh, it's a pronunciation, the N. Rating or raising on up. Do you, do, uh, the, this word, this word are in the, in, in the class uh, yesterday. Yeah, I don't remember. <laughs> Can you write it in the chat, right here, in the Zoom chat? Yes. Let me search the, uh, the phrasal verbs. Oh, yes, yes, please. Maybe the time, time up. Tighten. Tighten up. Okay, that one too, that one too, exactly, exactly. Well, let's go one by one, but let's begin, let's begin with the definition of phrasal verbs. I told you yesterday that we have a uh, tighten, tighten up. Okay, tighten up. Exactly, tighten, tighten up. Yes, that one. Thank this you. is the, exactly, this is the, uh, my, my, uh, my example. Oh, okay, okay, thank you, thank you, Brian. Excellent, okay, tighten, tighten up. También puede decir tighten, tighten. Okay, but I think it's better to say tighten, tighten up. All right, tighten up. Uh, there is something I need to tell you guys. We can use phrasal verbs with a lot of verbs. With a lot of verbs. You have no... Well, I think you might have an idea. You might have an idea. We can use phrasal verbs with the verb look. We can use phrasal verbs with the verb eat. We can use phrasal verbs with the verb get with the verb take, with the verb clean, and, well, I can continue like telling you more verbs, okay? We have many, many phrasal verbs, okay? And uh, I, can, I'm, I can be honest with you, I do not know them all. No los conozco o no los sé todos porque son un montón, okay? There are many of them, many of them, yes. A lot of them. You have no idea how how uh, how complex the list is. Okay, the topic is not really difficult to understand. Okay, it's about like understanding each of the phrasal verbs. Yes, look at this. I today yo yesterday sorry yesterday I brought or I showed you the verb get. Today I have the verb look, but look at the definition. This is the definition. A phrase of no, Anna Lea. What is a phrase of a phrase of bird? A phrase of bird is a bear a combined with a preposition, Mommy. both the verb and the preposition create another defi definition away from the original meaning. Exactly, exactly. A phrasal verb is a verb combined with a preposition. It can have two prepositions, one preposition or two prepositions. Both the verb and the preposition create, this crean, uh, create another definition away from their original meaning. Okay. Look at this. Uh, look at <laughs> look at this. Tenemos el verbo look. What does look mean? ¿Qué significa look, people? Do you know? Or how do you say look in Spanish? Mirar. Okay. Observe. All right. Yes. Yes. Okay. Okay. We got it. But let's take a look with one preposition. We have, well, I have four options here. Four options. Look at the first one. Look after, look after. Do you know what look after is or do you have any ideas? Revisar después. <laughs> right? Remember, the, phrase, the verb and the preposition create a different definition away from the original meaning. So, you know, it's mirar, okay? So, what is it, people? ¿Qué significa? Look after. What is it? I think I bit my lip. Look after. 
Okay. This one, this one, listen to this, listen to this. Sometimes, sometimes your mother, your wife, or your husband leave a baby with you in your house and you are alone with your baby or with your kid. So you are looking after your baby or looking after your kid. Significa cuidar de. Think, think about that, like look after, pero que tiene que ver con mirar y después uh, tiene nada sentido. Eso es un phrase number. Okay? Ponemos el verbo con la preposición y crean, un, crean una definición completamente diferente a su, su uh, significado original. Mirar después <laughs> significa cuidar. Look after, cuidar de. Yes, that's what it means. For example, I look after my son every afternoon. Yo cuido a mi hijo cada tarde. Okay, and it is true. Look up. Look up. This one has a very basic definition. Mirar hacia arriba, por supuesto. Look up. Yes. Or, 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 or when you have a, a word that you don't understand. Okay. When you don't have a word. Sorry. When you have a word that you don't understand, you go to a book or you go to the dictionary and you look the word up in the dictionary. Significa buscar, look up, look up. Pero ese buscar se refiere a una palabra, a una oración o algo específico en un libro. Okay, no es como buscar acá en la casa un objeto. No, no, that's a different, that's a different. Ese es este que está acá. Look for, look for si es buscar, buscar algo específico en la casa. Okay, for example, uh, people, I am looking for my cell phone. I cannot find my cell phone right now. I am looking for it. Lo estoy buscando. Look for, buscar. Look up también es buscar. Pero como le digo, sería una palabra en un diccionario o en un libro. Like, look it up. Yes, yes. And one more, look up to. Miren, tiene dos preposiciones. El up y el to. Look up to, yes. What does this mean? ¿Qué significa este look up to? ¿Alguien sabe? ¿Alguna idea? What? <laughs> People, any ideas? Let me get some water. No es como, como pretender con alguien o a alguien. Mm, no. <laughs> okay, this one means admire, admire, admirar. Pero, uh, ¿cómo le puedes admirar? No de, 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 de asombro, sino a alguien que es un buen ejemplo. Yes, yes. Uh, what, uh, what is the difference in uh, the admire and look up to there's no difference there's no difference there's no difference let me tell you this es que hay palabras los phrase numbers se usan para facilitar algunas palabras que son más complicadas tenemos admire I can say for example hey I admire Sandra admiro a Sandra okay there you go okay Or I can say, I look up to Sandra. Que significa también, admiro a Sandra. It's basically the same. Es lo mismo. Yes. Es lo mismo. Yes. All right. Do you have any questions? I do not have a dictionary right now. I, uh, I for me, know. it's clear. Just, I have a little list in my hands. Mm -hmm. uh, many, many friends are first. Sí, y si usted busca, es que no tenía un diccionario acá cerca de mí, pero no sé que lo hice. Si lo, lo busco mañana, más tarde, no sé que lo, que lo he hecho. Uh, I yeah. have this dictionary. In the dictionary, se va directamente a un verbo y le muestra el verbo normal y luego le muestra el verbo con un montón de preposiciones. Y este verbo look tiene un montón. Yes. 
It has many, many phrasal verbs. Exactly. All right. Let's begin with the review. Look, tighten up, tighten up. That's the first one. What is the meaning of tighten up? It means, or the meaning is, to make something become tighter, firmer, or less easy to move. All right. Yes, I told you yesterday that it means when some when something is loose, loose flojo. Okay. When something is loose, you tighten, you tighten that up. Okay, lo apretamos. Okay. O lo hacemos más firme. That's what tying up is. is. Example. The carnival worker tied tying up my seat belt. The carnival worker tied up my seat belt. Oh, this word is difficult to pronounce, people. Yes. Tighten. Tighten. You, you can barely you can barely hear the T at the end. Tighten up. Yes, in the simple past form or in the past form. Questions about tightening up. No, we got it. All right. Yes, teacher. Okay, we got clean up. Clean up. To make a person or place clean and tidy. I told you that tidy means organized, organizado, uh, ordenado. Example, Maria cleans up the office table, the office table twice a day. Maria limpia la, la mesa de la oficina dos veces al día. Maria cleans up the office table twice a week. Okay. I told you that cleaning up or clean up is when you are picking up objects from a place or from a specific surface, from the floor, from the table, from the desk. You are picking them up or cleaning up. Okay, recoger, limpiar, recogiendo. Yes, yes. Okay, very good. Questions about uh, clean up? No, we got it. switch off. This one is easy to understand. We know what switch is. Lo usamos en español. El switch decimos. <laughs> Just think about that. Lo usamos en español that, uh, unconsciously. To stop a device powered by electricity. Okay. To stop a device powered by electricity. Look at the example. The main steep team didn't. Switch off the machines. Los de mantenimiento no apagaron, dice las máquinas. Wow. That's complicated, right? That's something serious. Switch off is when you have, uh, well, mira acá, es como esto que haremos para cámara, mira. Okay, but I'm not switching off, I'm turning off or switching off. ¿Sabe? Apagar, switch off. Switch on. Switch off, right? Easy to understand. Yes. And the synonym, a sinónimo es, porque no lo incluye acá, porque es lo mismo. The synonym is turn off. Turn off is the synonym, all right? Sinónimo es turn off. It's basically the same. It's básicamente lo mismo. Okay. Maybe, maybe, maybe there's a little difference. Hay una pequeña diferencia con. Uh, con lo que apretamos. Porque turn, recuerde que turn es girar. Ok, girar. Y switch no es girar, sino que solo apretamos un botón. Que sea hacia abajo, hacia arriba, o hacia un lado. Ok, es apretarlo. Ok, y el turn ya, ya, ya envuelve como ya girar un botón. Right? Yes. Maybe in that context it can be different. But you know, they are the same. Pueden ser intercambiables, no hay ningún problema. Yes, I switched off the light or I turn off the light. Yes, all right. Questions about switch off or turn off? No, teacher. 
We good, we good, we good. Better make one lucky. We good, we good. All right, call up. Call up you to use the phone to call some to call to talk to someone. This is you. I had an issue. Example: I had an issue with my printer, so I called up the expert. Okay, tuve un problema con mi impresora. Entonces llamé al experto. I, I called up the expert. I called up called up the expert. There might be another definition there. Podría haber una pequeña, uh, otra pequeña definición acá con el call up. Es con referencia a... Ya que voy a dibujar aquí, pero aquí les dibujo. Aquí les dibujo esto. Supongamos que esto que he dibujado lo pueden ver. Can you see it? Guys, can you see it? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. I'm not, no soy arquitecto, porque miren cómo lo he hecho. It's a building. Exactly, it's a building, exactly. Yes. Okay, déjalo hasta allí, porque no puedo dibujar, ya dice, no, no me da más chance de dibujar más. Porque no le selecciona, se, como que se, se, se borra. Esto. Entrada. Wow. I am the best architect. <laughs> All right. Vamos a pretender esto con el hola para que entendamos un poco cómo sería el contexto. Let's say, for example, que yo estoy acá. Ok. I am in the top, on the top floor. I am on the top floor and the, the, the technicians or the, the, the technology experts are in the first floor, on the first floor, they are on the first floor. So you grab your cell phone or your telephone and you dial and you call them. But you call them up. Los llaman para que suban. Okay, call up. You, you, es como llamar, siempre lo mismo que llamar. Llamar, but call up. Porque están abajo, ellos están abajo. You call them up. The spirit okay. is, it's, uh, I would say, uh, step. No. Piece of the people. Floor, floor. Floor. Yes. It's under the floor, than me. Sorry? It's under the floor. Under? No. The, 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 technician, the technician or the experts are on the first floor, and I am on the top floor. Of okay. course, que esté en el piso de abajo no hay problema. Puede que esté también en este de aquí abajo. No hay ningún problema. Es que es como decir, es como decir llamar. Like, usted puede decir, hey, voy a llamar al, al, al técnico. I'm going to call. Like, I'm going to call the technician. Llamarle en general. Okay, o puede decir, I'm going to call up the technician. Llamarlo para que suba. Right? That's why, that's why we use the, 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 the preposition up. Es como decir caminar, mire. Caminar también está walk. Cuando usted camina a una... A una como cuesta o subidita, ya no es walk, sino que es, hey, I am walking up. El camino hacia arriba, subiendo, caminando, pero subiendo. Si fuera lo opuesto, I am walking down, I'm walking down. Así es como funciona. <laughs> yes. Y si fuera sure. lo opuesto, yes, dígame. Y, uh, ok, y what happened is the, the opposite. For, for example, is to... Ah. Yes. It's called down. Exactly. Like I was, oh, okay. Estaba a punto de decirle, Marvin. <laughs> excellent, excellent. Yes, yes, Marvin is right. Si fuera lo opuesto, if I, were, if I were on the first floor and the technician or the expert were on the last floor or top floor, it would be the opposite. Hey, I'm going to call the technician down. Yes. 
call him down. Sería lo opuesto, yes. Yes. <laughs> Preposition, people. It's difficult to understand, right? <laughs> Phrase of verbs. Yes. All right. Questions. No? Okay. I got it. Seize up. Seize up, easy to understand. It's when something is not working properly or when something is failing. To stop being able to move, dice acá. To stop being able to move. A machine or a printer that won't move. Okay, algo que no se moverá porque no, no está funcionando bien. Or work in the normal way. Yes, or work in the normal way. Look, I have not. Wow, qué error más grande que metí acá. Aquí lo corrió rápidamente. <laughs> Sorry. Yes. There you go. Better. Okay. I have not maintained my car for so long that it is starting to seize up. Okay. No he mantenido mi carro por un buen tiempo que ya inició o ya no está funcionando bien. Okay. Ya inició su, 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 su falla. I have not ma maintained my car for so long that it is starting to seize up. So seize up is when something, when a machine is not working well, when a machine is not working in the normal way, or when a machine is giving you issues or problems. Yes. And now we have the practice. Look, we got your turn, people. Your turn. Acá están los, los phrase hover con su definición. Okay, I need you guys to provide examples using them. You can use whatever structure you want. Progressive, past, present perfect. That's up to you. Go ahead. Iniciamos con la práctica. Your turn, your turn. We, we can now. I need call up. Marvin, yes, Marvin. Digan. No, no, sorry. I, 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 I was asking if we need to write first or only we can try to. That's up to you. If you want to write it down, no problem. Okay. okay. Or if you want to just say it, go, go. Yeah, go I, for it. I want to try one. Yes. I call, call up the technician because the elevator is not working. Perfect, perfect example. I called up the technician because the elevator is not working. Good example. Okay. Aunque recuerde el pasado, called up. Porque dijo, llamó, llamé, ¿verdad? Called up. Called up. Excellent, excellent. Go ahead, people. Go ahead. I need call up. Call, call up or call up. Teacher. Repeat what? Call, call up. Mm -hmm. Call up. I need call up my boss for attend the meeting. Mm. Mm, I need to. I need to. Okay. I need, uh -huh. to, call I need up to call up my, my boss, boss for attend the meeting. Para asistir a la reunión. To attend the meeting. To attend. Okay. To attend the meeting. Remember, if you wanna, if you want to put two verbs together with need, you need to separate them with two. Need to available verbo. Yes. I need to go, I need to write, I need to speak, I need to drive, etc. Excellent, excellent. People, let's continue. Uh, my my bedroom bedroom is dirty. Huh? Huh? Is necessary clear clean up. Otro otro ejemplo me con el two. It's necessary to. 
<ríe> es necesario tú. Ok. Ok. Y le colocamos ahí el E. Clean it, clean it up. Limpiarlo. Limpiarlo. Oh, ok. okay. Yes. Sí, porque no es limpiar, pero. Uh -huh. Ajá, le, le, it's necessary to clean it up. Ahí lo coloqué. Yes. Thank you, thank you. People, do you have more examples? Go ahead. I could, I could turn off the light in the night. Okay, okay, there you go, there you go. Excellent, excellent. Thank you, Christian. More examples? Turn off the television. Okay. Command, un comando. Bueno, ya apago, espérame. <laughs> yes. Hello, hello, people. Andy, Denise. Diana, Sandra, Jorge. Hello, Sara. You need to clean up the garden. Okay, yes. You need to clean up the garden, yes. Okay. Muy bien, muy bien. Very good, very good. Uh, is, uh, you need uh, to clean up the bedroom. Okay, you need to clean up the bedroom. Yes. Y tiene razón, mira. I need to clean it up. You, <laughs> you have to turn off the TV. Okay, you have to turn off the TV. Excellent example. Thank you. People, continue, continue. I call up the technician because my internet doesn't work. My what, sorry? I call up the uh -huh. technician because my internet is doesn't work. My internet doesn't work. Um, my internet doesn't work, okay. Exactly, exactly. Okay, I called up, called up the technician because my internet doesn't work. Yes, yes. What else, what else, que más? I need a haircut. No more? Estamos bien? Me, teacher. Okay, Jorge, go ahead. The maintenance of my laptop was a month ago. So, this says up right now. Says it's, up. It's, 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 it's seizing. It's seizing up. Seizing. Seizing uh -huh. up. Seizing. Seizing up. Seizing up. up uh -huh. Right because, now. Because it is happening. It is happening right now. It's not yes. fallando, like progressive. Uh, yes. Yes. All right. Oh, all right. season exactly. with yes, ing. Season. Ah, okay, exactly. okay. With ing, with ing. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Yes, of course. I'm here. <laughs> Anna, let me see. Anna, hello, Glana, Edwin, Andy, Raquel, hello. No. Two of my work equipment. Come again, please. Turn off the work mm -hmm. equipment. Okay, turn off the work equipment. Okay, thank yes. you. All right. Midi charge. Oh, yes, go. Um, I need to call up my doctor to make an appointment. To, to what? Make an appointment. Okay, to make an appointment. All right. There you go, excellent. People, thank you very much for uh, your examples and for your practice. We have to continue with another part. Vamos a seguir acá con esta parte luego. Let's, more, let's learn more about idioms or more idioms. Lo veremos un poco más adelante. Let's go to the book. All right. Over here on page number 38, sorry, 37, sorry. Página 37, page 37. 
you're going to find the information right here on page number 37. Hold on. Sorry, I had an issue with, with something out there. Okay, now we're gonna practice some reading. It says there, uh, read the following tips on how to organize a preventive maintenance plan. Veamos acá. Preventive, you can say preventive or you can say preventive. Preventive, okay? Preventive or preventive. All right, that is up to you. It's at the, at the option of the status. Y acá is a maintenance. No es maintenance, no es maintenance. It's maintenance. All right, maintenance. Maintenance, maintenance. Yes. Maintenance. Maintenance. Yes. Okay, very good. We're going to practice some reading right now. We're going to read some uh, texts or paragraphs about a preventive maintenance plan or preventive maintenance plan. We have three steps. I tres pasos as a year. Step number one. People, listen to the pronunciation. I'm going to read. And after I finish reading, let me know or you will let me know if you have any questions about some words or expressions that are here. Let me begin. Let me get easy. Get the right people on board. Before you begin to organize your preventive maintenance plan, you need to have the right people on board with the, with the plan. Include top management, maintenance managers, maintenance technicians, and any other staff who understands the way your system operates. This could include people from data processing, accounting, craftsmen, and members of production and production control. You may not need input, for input from each of these people at every step of the process but it's important to re to have them on board and keep up to date so you can get important feedback as you go there is something going on here that i don't really understand i think i can change it yes all right do you have any questions about the vocabulary Teacher, what does it mean? Crafts, craftsman. People, do you know what craft? Well, let's go with the craft. What is craft? Any ideas? Oh, sería algo así como la visto. crear o oh, formar. Oh, hello. Welcome. <laughs> Teacher, I'm here. <laughs> Sorry. Yes. Uh, could, it could be something like make or made or produce something. Yes. Something like that. Yes, exactly. Uh, basicamente significa artesano. Artesano. Okay. But, but we can say that in this context, it can be like a creator, un creador de, de, un, de algo, de un producto, a creator, all right? But in context of the craft, craft is, is, is uh, artesano, okay, que, que crea artesanía y todo eso. We got craftsmen, but yes. What else, what else? More questions?
No, we got it. Okay. I need volunteers to read the first step. El primer paso. Uh, me, teacher. Okay, thank you, thank you. Go ahead. Go ahead, Edwin. Uh, step one, uh, get the right people on board. Before you be, begin to organize your preventive maintenance plan, you need to have the right people on board with the plan. Include top management, maintenance manager, maintenance technician, and any other staff who understands good who understand to the way your system operates. Uh, this could include people from data processing, accounting, craftsmen, and members of production and production control. You may not need input from each of these people at every step of the process, but it's important to have ten, them on board and keep them up to date so you can get important feedback as you go. Thank you, thank you. Let me just quickly review here. What is input? Sanchez input? No? Input, no es como una entrada. Como entrada, entrada, ajá. Uh -huh. Yes, entrada. yes, yes. Yeah. But in this context, in this context is opinion. Opinion or opinions, opinion. ideas, or in Spanish, aportes. Okay, aportes, exactly. Yes. Y había otra acá. Acá está un, un error de, 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 de escritura o de spelling. No es kept. Ahí kept es pasado y no estamos en pasado acá. Entonces sería keep them, porque okay, mantenerlos al día. Okay, o al tanto, ese keep them up to date, hasta la palabra date significa mantenerlos al día o mantenerlos al tanto de lo que está pasando. Right? It's, a guy. it's important. It's important to have them on board and keep them up to date. Okay? So you can get important feedback as you go. Okay? Yes. I need more people to read. Go, guys. Me teacher. Don't go. Okay, Denise. Try. Okay. Go ahead. Um, step one, get the right people on board. Before you begin to organize your preventive maintenance plan, you need to have the right people on board with the plan. Include top management, maintenance managers, maintenance technicians, and any other staff who understands the way your system operates. This could include people from data processing, accounting, craftsmen, and members of production and production control. You may not need input from each of these people at every step of the process, but it's important to have them on board and keep them up to date so you can get important feedback as you go. All right, excellent, excellent. Thank you, thank you, Denise, for reading. Okay, uh, let me see this one. Control, excuse me. Control, control. So now, this is como can, can, control, control, control. Como una E, a control, okay? Control. Thank you, Denise, for reading. I need one more person. Uno más. Me, teacher. Okay, go. Excellent. And step one, get the right people on board. And before you begin to organize your preventive maintenance, maintenance plan, you need to have the right people on board with the plan. Include dot management, maintenance manage, managers, maintenance technician and any other staff who your system operates this this call include people from data processing accounting craftsmen and members of production and and production production control 
you may not need input from each of these people as very step of the process but it's important to have them on board the cab up to date so so you can get important feedback as you go yes yes thank you thank you very much andy for your participation okay do not forget about this okay because you have there are some questions or there are some items down there that we need to answer yes let me go on with the step number two set goals for your preventive maintenance plan okay. using your tasks your task forces input set goals you hope to achieve using the system begin training your task force on the computer skills they'll need when your preventive maintenance plan goes into full effect let me read again una vez más listen slowly set goals for your preventive maintenance plan using your task forces input set goals you hope to achieve using your system excuse me using the system begin training your task force on the computer skills they'll need when your preventive maintenance plan goes into full effect questions about this this step what does it mean of achieve achieve guys do you know what achieve is alguien sabe does anybody know achieve achieve is similar to get okay in este caso sería lograr okay yes establecer objetivos que esperas lograr usando el sistema lograr achieve un sinónimo es de que lo pongan en el chat accomplish accomplish es un sinónimo that's a synonym yes teacher is not e the words is the verb which one the achieve yes okay no no no, no escuché lo que dijo Verónica perdón that 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 Word is a verb. Yes, it is a verb. It's a verb regular. Okay. Yes. Thank you. Achieve, achieved in pasado. In este caso, es una es un infinitivo. El verbo es old. More questions. No? Okay, I will need some volunteers to read step number two. But not the same people, Me not the same okay? Different people. Jorge, yes, thank Me you. Teacher. Okay. Step two, set goals for your friend. preventive maintenance plan. Using your facts or Ah, I'm sorry. Using your tax force input, set goals you have to achieve using the system. Begin training the tax force on the computer skill they need when your preventive maintenance plan goes into full effect. Excellent, excellent. Good, good, Jorge. Okay, let's continue with more volunteers. Ya puedo leer Denise, le, también, también estuvo Edwin ayudándonos y Andy. What about the rest? Me, teacher. Okay. Ismael and then Marvin. Thank you both. Okay. Oh, uh, step, num uh, step number two. Set goals for your preventive maintenance plan. Using your task forces input, set goals you hope to achieve using the system. Begin training your task force on the computer skills. They'll need they'll need when your preventive maintenance plan goes into full effect. 
Okay, excellent, excellent. Thank you, Ismael. Marvin, go ahead. Okay. Step number two, set goals for your prevent maintenance plan. Using your tax, using your task force, input set goals you hope to achieve using the system. Begin training your tax, your your tax force on the computer skills they are needed when you prevent maintaining plans go in effect. Okay, excellent, excellent. Wow, fantastic. Let's continue, guys, with the step number three and the last one. Inventory the equipment and the assets. What is inventory, guys? Inventory the equipment, you say. Inventory the equipment. Como inventariar. Sorry? Um, como tomar el, las asistencias o algo así. No, lo que usted dijo al principio. <laughs> inventariar. Yes, yes. Suena un poco extraña la palabra, pero así, así es. Es un verbo, ¿ok? Inventariar, exactly, yes. Teacher. Yes. Sorry? I have the questions. What is the different uh, inventory or stock? ¿Cuál dijo? What is the different the inventory or stock? Inventory and stock. Yeah. No, it's the same. Stock. It's a synonym. It's a synonym. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yes. What is assets? Creo que lo vimos en el módulo anterior, ¿verdad? Activos. Yes. Ahí se acuerda, ¿verdad? Activos. O bien, bienes, 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 bienes inmuebles. Ok, activos. Son los assets. Assets. También estaban los liabilities, que son los pasivos, lo opuesto. Ok. Excellent. Let me read this to you. Excuse me. Yes, now, read. Go through your facility and inventory all the equipment you're considering, including in your preventive maintenance plan. Tagging the equipment as you go. Create a list of all the assets you have responsibility for. Record the following details as you go. And, and keep in mind that this process is much easier to carry out and organize with the assistance of a good preventive maintenance software program. Acá no va la de. No es pasado, no es pasado. Okay. Do you have any questions about the vocabulary or something that you do not understand? Questions about vocabulary? And just teacher, uh, what is the meaning of the assets? Assets, activos. Ah, oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Activos, aunque, aunque assets tiene mucho significado. Le voy a mostrar acá para que vean. Le voy a mostrar. Uh, it, has, it has different, different definitions. Look at it. Assets. Acá está, assets. Ok, observen, activo, bien, bien mueble. Oops. Valor, acciones, una ventaja, un recurso. Y we can continue. O herramienta, recurso. And aquí ya son más compuestas las palabras. Son compuestas, hay dos palabras. Ok, eso es lo que significa un asset. Exactly. Thank you. Guys, for example, ¿qué, qué, sería, un, qué sería un asset de una compañía? People. ¿Puedes decirme? Eh, eh, yes, Verónica. The computer. Ajá, exacto. The computer. ¿Qué más? What else? Vehicles. Machinery. Mm, vehicles, ajá. Vehículos, exactly. Yes. Machines. Machines, exactly. Exactly, yes. Esos son los Human activos, resources. Exactly. Human resources. The stationary. Yes. Like all the technological devices you have, cell phones, telephones, printers, 
photocopiers, etc. Those are our keywords. More questions about the vocabulary? Tagging. Guys, what is tagging? Tag is the verb was tag. Hello? Tagging? Etiquetar. 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 Exactly, exactly. Etiquetar, okay. O ponerle nombre y precio, o nombre, o el número de producto, etc. Okay, etiquetar, yes. That's tagging. Tagging. More questions? Teacher, uh, the word and uh, keep keep up. What is? Which one? Keep up. Keep up. Keep up, dijo. Sí. No le encuentro está eso. Aquí. And the ¿Esta? There's, sí, no, no, keep up en de arriba. Este está igual. con rojo. Este, este igual. ¿Cuál es? En the first part, the second line. Keep the second keep line. In the first, ajá. Uh -huh. Para arriba, no es, no es step en... Paragraph. One. Ah, acá Stay arriba. One. Uh -huh. Esto. Y eso. Oh, keep up. Este, este keep up es una cosa y keep up to date es otra cosa. Lo pondré aquí en el chat, espérenme. Keep up to date, como aparece, como lo corregí yo, y aparece ahí, ahí arriba, es mantener mantener al tanto o mantener a alguien al día actualizado y el keep up solo el keep up sería seguir continuar Ahí lo coloqué en el chat. Keep up. For example, people, if you are if you are practicing English, hey, keep up the good work. Keep up the good work. Mantengan el trabajo que están haciendo o el buen trabajo. Sigan haciéndolo. Continúen. Eso sería keep up. Yes. Keep up. All right. Let me read again. Leeré una vez más, más lento, ¿ok? Para que vamos a captar más o menos la pronunciación. Let's listen carefully as I read. Go through your facility and inventory all the equipment you're considering including, including incluir, ¿ok? Incluir, including in your preventive maintenance plan. Tagging the equipment as you go. Create a list of all the assets you have responsibility for. Re uh, record the following details as you go and keep in mind that this process is much easier to carry out and organize with the assistance of a good preventive maintenance software program. Acá tenemos mucho cuidado con este verbo que está acá. ¿Cómo se dice, dijimos? ¿Cómo se dice? Record. Record. Oh, sí. Record. 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 Recuerden, el verbo es Teacher, record. Can you repeat, can you repeat the pronunciations? The prevent, prevent, prevent. The pronunciation. Prevented. Prevented. Yes. You can say prevent. prevent. You can say preventive or preventive. Preventive. 
Yes. Mm. En el caso de este que está acá, que, que es seleccionado, es record. Recuerden, recording in progress. Recording, re, record. Si decimos record, escuchen eso, record ya no es, no es verbo. Se convierte en un sustantivo que significa record, ¿verdad? O como, ¿cómo se en español esa, esa palabra record en español? ¿Cómo se diría en español record? Grabar. Grabar. Puntaje. Puntaje. Ah, puntaje, Grabar. Exactly, exactly. puntaje, mm. puntaje. No, no. Grabar es record. Record. Ok, record. Ahora, si decimos record, ya sería puntaje. Ok. That's the difference. Right. Es que hay verbos, hay verbos que pueden ser dos, dos cosas. Miren en el chat, les pondré otro ejemplo. Okay. ¿Cómo dicen ese? Ya está allí. ¿Cómo la dicen esa palabra? ¿Cómo la dicen? Present. 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 Okay. ¿Y qué significa? Aquí estoy. <risa> Sorry. Ahora mismo, en el momento. Sorry. No. Lo puse Presente. en el chat. Presente. Presente. Como re regalo, ¿verdad? Ah, pero ese es otro forma. No, es lo mismo. <ríe> es lo mismo. Ahora, ¿cómo decimos presentar en inglés? Presentar. Introduce. Introduce. Presentar a alguien. No, no, como una presentación. Okay. Presentation. Present. Okay. Ahí cambia la pregunta. Es que si es regalo, es present. Si es presentar, present. Present. Different pronunciation. Present. Yes. Present, present. Yes. Present teacher, present. O sea que cuando nosotros decimos present, es regalo. <laughs> exactly. Yes, I need to present. Present. Yes. Es un regalo nuestra asistencia. Teacher, y para decir estoy presente, ¿cómo se dice? Ajá. Para decir estoy presente. I'm present. Cuando I'm pasamos asistencia. I'm present. I'm present. Yes. Ahí lo puse. Ah. Este tenía otro acá, pero. So, that's other meaning. Observen ese que les he enviado. Uno es réplica y el otro es replicar o duplicar. Okay. Es la misma palabra, pero la pronunciación uh, cambiaría todo el contexto. Si yo digo duplicate, como la escuchan, Kate, duplicate es duplicar o replicar. Para decir copia o réplica, yo digo duplicate. Get. Ya no es Kate, es duplicate. Duplicate, duplicate, duplicate. En inglés así es. <ríe> beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. Y hay muchas más. Hay muchas más que, que, es, que es lo mismo. Puede ser un sustantivo o puede ser un verbo. Y cambia la pronunciación. Yes. Guys, let's continue. Veamos acá. I need people to read, to practice. Veamos. Go, go, guys. Volunteers. Go volunteers. Alguien que lo pueda leer. Hello. Okay, go, Veronica. Thank you. Stage three inventory. The equipment and assistance. No, sorry. What ¿Cómo se pronuncia? Assistance. Assistance. Oh, Assistance. Assistance. Okay. Assistance. Go through your facility 
and inventory all the equipment you are considering, including in your prevent, prevent maintenance plan, tagging the equipment as you go. Create a list of, of all the assist, assist, assist. assets. 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 You have the responsibility for record the following details after you go and keep in mind that this process is much easier to car car carry, carry, out. carry out and organize with the assistance of a good prevent maintenance software program. Okay, one more person, uno más, uno más, one more person. Thank you, Veronica, for reading. Me, teacher. Okay, go, go, thank you, thank you, Paola. Step three, inventory the equipment and asset. Go through the facility and inventory are the equipment you're considering including in your preventing, preventive maintenance plan, tagging the equipment as you go. Create a list of all the assets you have responsibility for. Record the following details as you go. And keep in mind that this process is much easier to carry out and organize with the assistance of a good preventive maintenance software program. Thank you. Thank you. Excellent. Excellent. Very good. All right. Let's go down here. No dice que vamos a hacer acá abajo. O sea, aquí dice que arriba, vamos a ver si esa indicación, bueno, no aparece nada. I'm guessing, I'm guessing we're gonna select if the item or the sentence is true or false. All right? That's what we are going to do right now with this part. We got five sentences or five items, and we're going to decide if the item is true or false. People, read the item carefully, and uh, we'll answer according to what you have read. Iniciamos. I'm going to give you three minutes to do this. Go individually, three minutes.
Are we ready? Estamos listos. Yes. Yes. I'm going to give you one more minute. Okay, let's begin. Number one, let me choose a person directly. Number one, Edwin, read number one. Having the appropriate people on board is not relevant, uh, is false. False. Guys, do you agree with Edwin? Okay, having the appropriate people on board is not relevant. False. Anna, read number two. It is important to include people who understand of maintenance. It's true. Okay, guys, do you agree with Anna? With Anna? With Anna? Yes, I agree. Okay, we all agree. Yes, excellent. It is important to include people who understand of maintenance. Yes. Let me continue uh, with another person. Raquel, Elizabeth, can you read number three? Setting, setting goals is an option for the PMP. True. True or false people? Guys, do you agree with Raquel Elizabeth? With Raquel? If you... Do you agree with Raquel? Yes. 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 Setting goals is an option for the PMT, PMT Preventive Maintenance Plan. All right. Next, number four, uh, let me see. Christian, read number four. Yes, teacher. Thank you. For better for creating a list of the asset, assets is important, true. Okay, let's see, true. Yes, for better results, Creating a list of the assets is important. We have the last one, uh, Andy, go with the last one. Um, is, 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 is false, sir. Read, read. According to, to the article to carry all the PMP, a software is ma mandatory in sports. False. Do you agree with Andy people? Yes, no. Yes, I, 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 it, it is false. It's it says there it says there that the software is an option. Okay, it is not mandatory. 
according to the article to carry out the PMT, a software is mandatory. It is not mandatory, it is like if the process is much easier uh, to carry out and organize with the assistance of a good preventive maintenance software program, but it is not really mandatory. Yes. We got it, thank you guys. Let's continue down here with the idioms part number two. Let me show you the idioms right now. We are here in the presentation. Do you see the presentation? Yes. Yes. All right. Okay. Idioms, part number two. We have the list of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight of them. Wiped out to have a lot on one's plate, to settle down. Hang in there to keep one's head above the water to scale what excuse me to scale back one's hours stressed out and sleep one's mind. Yes, those are the idioms that we're going to learn today or right now. Excuse me, I thought I have something in my notes. All right, got it. Now we're gonna go uh and we're gonna see one by one to see what they mean. All right, to see what they mean one by one. Let's begin with white out. Listen to that. White, white, con una T al final, white, and then el out. Lo pueden unir. Si lo pueden ver en el chat. Can you see it? White out. White out. Pueden, hacer, pueden separar las palabras como white out. O pueden unir las que es lo más, mucho más sencillo. White out. White out. White out. Yes. What is the meaning of these words or this idiom? Well, you can see it there. The definition is quite simple. To be very tired. To be very tired. Guys, let me ask you this. Are you wiped out today? Are you wiped yes, out Yes, all the today? time. I understand. I understand. I understand. It's, it's almost time to sleep. <laughs> All right. Look at the example after the, after a, sorry, after the long trip, my dad was was wiped out. After the long trip, my dad was very tired. I am always look uh, ask nosotros, okay? Look. I am always wiped out after work. Okay? Or I am always very tired after work. So white out means to be very tired. That is the idiom. To have a lot on one's plate. To have a lot on one's plate. Tener mucho en el plato sería literal. And that means to have a lot of things to do. Or to have a lot of work. To do. Okay. Tener mucho trabajo que hacer o muchas cosas que hacer significa eso que está arriba. To have a lot on one's plate. Ese once se puede cambiar. Ustedes saben que se cambia. Ese once se refiere a my, your, his, her, etc. For example, I can't attend today's meeting because I have a lot of Sorry, I, a lot on my plate. Hemos sustituido el once por el my. Yes, en mi plato. I can't attend today's meeting because I have a lot of things to do. Eso significa, no puedo ir a la reunión de ahora 
porque tengo mucho trabajo o muchas cosas que hacer. Christian, hello, miren, miren. Christian, Christian didn't go to the yearly event because he had a lot on his plate. Christian no pudo atender o no pudo ir al evento anual porque tenía mucho trabajo que hacer o muchas cosas que hacer. So to have a lot on one's plate, it means to have a lot of things to do, to have a lot of work to do, or to be very busy. Estar muy ocupado con actividades, tareas, etc. Preguntas hasta el momento. Con uh, wiped out y ya está. No? Okay. We got it. Settle down. Settle down. Que vimos anteriormente el, el take it easy es lo mismo que esto. Aquí está, aquí está, miren, take it easy. <laughs> to settle down, to settle down is when you are desperate, when you're uh, angry, when you're anxious, when you're, uh, I don't know, you, like, you cannot control yourself. Settle down, settle down. It means to calm down or to take it easy or to relax. That's what settle down is. Calm down. Recuerden acá que la L no se pronuncia. Es calm, calm down. Sí, la L. No es calm, calm down. It's calm down. Example, after being fired, Elsa wasn't able to settle down. Después de ser despedida, Elsa no pudo ser capaz de tranquilizarse. Okay. No la agarro al suave. <laughs> okay. Elsa, Elsa was not taking it easy, right? So, she was not able to settle down. The best way to deal with an argument is to settle down. The best way to deal with an argument is to settle down. La mejor forma de lidiar con un con una discusión es tranquilizándose. Okay. Argument, discusión. Yes. Right. Settle down. Hang in there. Oh, well, hang in there is when you have uh, when you have to be patient. Yes. To have a lot of patience. To have a lot of patience. For example, Sometimes we want to uh, buy objects or material things. For example, in my case, I wanna I want to buy a what do you call this this object, man? I have an iron here. Don't have a plancha acá, pero esa plancha no funciona muy bien. I wanna buy I wanna buy a new iron. Yes, but uh, well, I have to hang in there because I don't have money. Okay, tengo que ser paciente porque no tengo pisto. I have to hang in there because I don't have money. I want to buy an iron, a new iron. I don't have money, so I have to hang in there. Porque tengo que esperar o tranquilizarme o ser paciente, muy paciente, para poder comprarla en un futuro. Being unemployed makes me sad. Estar desempleado me pone triste. But I just have to hang in there. Pero tengo que ser muy paciente o tengo que tener demasiada paciencia o mucha paciencia. So hang in there to have a lot of patience. Yes. Hang in there. Getting high paying jobs is difficult to pull off. Many have to hang in there. Y se conseguir un empleo de paga alta es muy difícil de adquirir. Muchos tienen que tener mucha paciencia. Many have to hang in there, right? Pull off. ¿Qué significa pull off? Es un place a ver también. Significa conseguir. O oh, es que no sé cómo decirlo en español. Sé qué significa pull off en inglés, pero no en español. Es como conseguir, ¿ok? Uh, ¿Cómo sería? I can, I can. I have to look it up. Pero me voy a buscar pull off. Eso es conseguir, obtener. Mm. Pues a ver, no va a aquí el que yo busco. Sacar, dice acá. Esa es otra cosa. Pull out. 
es como sacar adelante, salir adelante, ponerse a lucir, dice. Es lo que él decía, es como adquirir o tener. Yes. It's difficult to pull off. Yes. To keep one's head above the water. Mantener la cabeza literalmente arriba del agua. Okay, like this. This is the water, and this is your head above the water. Okay, arriba del agua, right? And the definition is to survive. To survive. It is a harsh time, but I have to keep my head above the water. Es un momento difícil. Dice harsh, es difícil, complicado. But I have to keep my head above the water. Tengo que mantener la cabeza arriba del Agua o tengo que sobrevivir. Yes. I have kept, dice acá. I have kept my head above the waters for so long. I am wiped out. He sobrevivido por mucho tiempo. Estoy cansado. Estoy muy cansado. Yes. So to keep one's head, sorry, one's head above the water to survive. To scale back one's hours. To scale back once, once hours. Well, in my case, I just work for five hours. I don't have a lot of work. I mean, I don't have uh, many hours, you know. I just have four, four or five hours every day. Besides these ones. Yes. But there are people, there are people that work for eight hours, nine, ten, eleven, and even twelve hours straight. Yes. But to scale back one's hours means to reduce the number of hours one works. Reducir las horas de trabajo. Reducir las horas de trabajo. Eso significa to scale back. Okay, to scale back one's hours. Due to my remarkable performance, the CEO has decided to scale back my hours. Due to my remarkable performance, the CEO has decided to scale back my hours. Yes. Questions so, so far, people? Questions so far? No, we're good. A oh, remarkable, notable, extraordinario. Okay. Debido a mi rendimiento extraordinario o notable, mi jefe o el, el jefe ha decidido reducirme las horas. Stressed out. Stressed out. Easy to understand. Es cuando estamos bien estresados. Dice acá, to be under severe strain, very anxious. To, to be under severe, severe strain. What is strain, people? Do you know what strain is? Hello. Presión, mucha presión. Pressure, pressure, strain, pressure. Okay. People, are you under a lot of uh, pressure? No, yes. Maybe. No, teacher. Well, in my case, I'm not. I'm not really under a lot of pressure. At the end of the month, Many employees are stressed out since they've been under a lot of pressure. Yes. Okay. Estresados, muy ansiosos. Pueden ser muy ansiosos. Estresados, básicamente. Okay. A fin de mes, dice, muchos empleados están estresados porque han estado bajo demasiada o mucha presión. Sleep one's mind has two definitions. <coughs> Excuse me. To forget. To forget or be forgotten. Okay, olvidar o ser olvidado. I have so much to do that sometimes some things slip my mind. Dice acá, tengo mucho, mucho que hacer que a veces algunas cosas se me olvidan. I have so much to do that sometimes some things slip my mind. Es como que se me escapan algunas cosas. Okay, sleep es deslizarse. Okay, sleep. Oh, I said fly, sorry. 
The next one, I don't get messages from my friends anymore. I think I have slipped their minds. Ya no tengo, o ya no me caen mensajes de mis amigos, ya nunca más. Creo que me han olvidado, o he sido olvidado. Sad. And now we have uh, the practice. Wiped out, be, be very tired. To have a lot on one's plate, to have a lot of a lot of things to do, a lot of work to do, to settle down, to calm down, hang in there, be patient, be very patient, to keep one's head one's head above the water, to survive, to scale back one's hours, to reduce the uh, the number the number of hours one works, stressed out, under severe strain, or very anxious. And slip one's mind to forget or be forgotten. Yes. And it says there, excuse me, it says there your turn. But to do that, we're going to go to the presentation. Sorry, the book. And in the book, we have we have the same. Tenemos lo mismo que está acá. Lo que ya vimos. Tenemos acá número dos. Number two, your turn. Choose three idioms from the box above and write a sentence per each. Dice, elijamos, elige tres, tres uh, dichos, lo que están arriba, y escribe una oración. People, let's go. Vamos, iniciemos. I'm going to give you from four to five minutes. Les daré entre cuatro y cinco minutos. To do that. Excuse me, teacher. Yes. What is the exercise? Okay, we're gonna we're gonna choose. I'm gonna let you. We're gonna choose three idioms, and we're going to write three examples. Only three. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you. Yes.
Guys, are you ready? Not yet, teacher. Okay, okay. Guys, let me know. Guys, ready? Yes, teacher. Stop sharing. Okay, we are ready. Let me see. Veronica, hello. Veronica? Hello. Hello. Usted es la ganadora ahora. Usted es la ganadora. Ok. Se queda después de clase, ok? Thank you. Congratulations. <laughs> Congratulations. You have won, you have won the lottery. La lotería ganado. Ok. Iniciamos con la compartición. Let's begin with the sharing. Let me see. Well, volunteers, go ahead, guys. Voluntarios, iniciemos. Okay. Yes, go, go, Marvin. Excellent. I, I, I wait out. I, I wait, wait out to do the homework. Mm -hmm. Okay. He had a lot of in his plate. So. 
Oh, he lost a customer. Okay. And my boss is called back once of my hours. In Korea, a middle one from my. My, okay. My boss is called back my hours. Yes, exactly, exactly. All right. Marvin, excellent. Thank you for sharing. Edwin, go ahead, Edwin. Okay. Uh, the old values have been wiped out. Yes. Uh, I know things are tough right now. Just hang in there. Mm -hmm. uh, what we do know is that our get tired and stressed out. Lea la última. What we do know is that ours tired and stress out. Okay. Okay. Thank you, Edwin, for sharing your examples. Let's continue with more people. Sigamos, sigamos. People, go ahead, go ahead. Okay. Um... <laughs> okay. When the things are not as we expect, it is best to settle settle down. And settle, the settle down. Oh, sir. The teachers need a hand in there to teach the children. I me corrige si están malas. In the last, uh, the company, the company to scale back your hours for the employees. Repeat it again, please. The company to scale back your hours, the employees. Okay, en vez, en vez del ones que aparece ahí, ponemos la persona. O las personas. Scale back the employees' hours. Employees' hours. Okay. Okay. Let's continue with more uh, volunteers. Go ahead, guys. Share. No, wait. Ismael, go. Uh, okay. Um, when my dog buy my shoes, I need to hang in there. Okay. The three examples. Or... Yes, yes, please. Okay. Uh, um, I've been wiped out the last days of this week. Mm -hmm. When I'm going to argument with my brother, I settle down first. All right, all right. There you go, there you go. Excellent, excellent. Thank you, Ismael. Very good. Uh, let me see. We got Andy, Christian, Paola, Jorge, Sandra, Raquel, Denise. Hey, teacher. Okay, Hello, Christian. teacher. Okay, Christian, and then Sandra. Okay, you are stressed out for the game. I have to whip out day because I work a lot. You need the zero down for your feel good. To feel good. Yes. To feel good. Okay. You need to settle down to feel good. All right. Thank you, Christian, for sharing. Sandra, go. Sorry, teacher. Give me a moment, please. Okay. Alguien más entonces para mientras alguien más. Me, teacher. Okay, Jorge, thank you. Go. <clears throat> Last week, I was stressed out because my co-worker slipped once my desired report. But I was settled down. In the end, I kept once here above the water. 
Ok, recuerden que en vez del once, ese once que aparece en medio se, es, es con referencia a un objeto o una persona. What I mean is que en vez del one pondremos, en vez del once que aparece ahí pondremos el objeto que es la persona. Veamos acá. Segunda, esta que está acá. Observen. Tener mucho dice acá. Have a lot on one's plate. Este one se refiere a que lo podemos cambiar por my, por your, por her. No diremos once. Okay, si decimos once, está incorrecto. Ok. Once. Okay. Lo pondré acá. Aquí lo pondré en color negro para que lo podamos diferenciar. Espérenme, lo vamos a hacer. Veamos. Y vean el ejemplo. Dice, I can't attend today's meeting because I have a lot on my plate. No voy a decir I have a lot on one's plate. Porque ese one significa uno. Entonces no tiene sentido decir once. Entonces lo cam cambiamos el once por la persona. ¿Ok? I have a lot on my plate. Y de acá abajo, he had a lot on his plate. The same happens con el siguiente que es, uh, también está este, miren. Keep one's head above the water. Ese once no va en la oración, sino que va la persona específica. It is harsh to, it is a harsh time. But I, pero yo, I have to keep my, dice que, me, my head above the water. Otra vez, I have kept my, otra vez el my, I met the ones. Y tenemos el otro que es sleep one. The, bueno, está, está este, scale, scale back once hours. También este, sleep one's mind. Así aparece en la, en, la, en, la, en la gramática, así aparece la explicación con el once. Ese once lo omitimos en la oración y ponemos el my, your, her, his, its, their, or our. De, depende de la persona que aparece en el sujeto. Due to my remarkable performance, the CEO has decided to scale back my hours. Si yo digo acá, scale back once hours, no tiene sentido. Tengo que decir acá, borrar el, el once y poner el my. Yes. Complicated to understand here. Okay, teacher. Yes. Can I try again, please? Yes, go ahead. Sure. Thank you. Last week, I was stressed out because my co-worker slipped Sleep, the salary mm -hmm. report of her mind, or oh, mm -hmm. the sleep, yes. But I was to settle down. In the end, I keep my head about the water. There you go, there you go. I see, yes. <laughs> excellent, excellent. All right. Well, uh, it is 10, 10 p.m. already. I will not take more time away from you guys. It's a sleeping time. We, we have to sleep. We have to rest. Do you have any final questions? No, teacher. No? Okay. Remember, you have to work on the platform today or tomorrow morning, the latest. I need you guys to finish session number three or unit number three. Yes. Tomorrow, we begin with unit number four. That will be the last unit of the module. And uh, yep, that's pretty much what I have to say. Okay, let me take attendance or update the attendance to be free to go. Ana Victoria Galán. Present. Thank you. Andy Ernesto Martinez. Present. Uh, Yes, thank you, Andy. Brian David Ramirez. Great teacher. Thank you, thank you, guys. Carlos Alberto Orrego. Carlos Eliezer Dimas. I think he's working today. Christian Alexander Rivera. Present teacher. Thank you, Christian Denise Alejandra Zuniga. Present. Thank you, Diana Yamilet Maravilla. Thank you, Diana. Edwin Heriberto Delgado. Present. 
Thanks, Ismael Ernesto Boya. Present. Thank you, Jorge Ernesto Hernandez. Present, teacher. Thank you, Jorge Marvin Josue Cortez. Present, teacher. Thanks, Marvin. Mayra Elizabeth Lazo. Creo que ya se fue. Paola Geraldine Santa María. Present. Thank you, Paola. Raquel Elizabeth de la Rosa. Present. Thank you, Raquel Sandra Ives Mendoza. Present teacher. Thank you, Sandra Sara Rachel Salazar. Eso fue, creo. Verónica Alicer Portillo. I'm present. And Jancy Andrea Solorzano. All right, guys. Well, we have nothing else to do. There's nothing left to do. Thank you for joining today's session. I will see you tomorrow. It's been a pleasure. Take care and have a good night. Except Veronica, no se vaya a ir. Thank you, teacher. Good night. 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 Yes, they are very bad people. Okay, Veronica, uh, Mayra is as a listener, so we can we can uh, start. Tenemos unos cuantos minutos para poder aclarar sus dudas, confusión, complicación con los temas que hemos visto, o cualquier tema de los módulos anteriores, o cualquier tema que tengan general de inglés. Dígame. Creo que sí me está costando porque me dijo que todas estaban malas. Yes. Y yo la, yo no sé si hay un orden para ponerlas al final, en medio o al principio. Es que los, los idioms son como un verbo, un verbo que tiene un, un, un grupo de palabras. Ajá. Para decir, Entonces, por ejemplo, yo, para decir, yo escribo y tenemos que decir I write. Uh -huh. Primero el sujeto y luego el verbo. Ahora, para decir... Yo estoy cansado, como el white out sería, I am white. Mm, yo, lo, yo lo puse al principio. Uh -huh. sí. I am que, white. Que, que cuando queremos tomar una oración, siempre te queremos de un sujeto. Siempre, siempre. Entonces, si no en, este... un... Ajá, sorry. en este caso, en la primera que yo había puesto, ya correcta sería, I am white. Wipe up, no, perdón. I am wiped out because. Ah, I see. Cabal, cabal. Because... cabal, because, because I am training a new partner. Okay, okay. Uh, sí. Like I am, I am wiped out. Exactly. I así. get it. Mm -hmm. And the second sentence. ¿Cómo sería? Que había puesto sleep once, pero ahí sería sleep my. My, my, employing the TV. Es que esta va, va, va después del, del, del grupo de verbos que sería I, the unplugging. Se me olvida, se me olvida. I'm plugging, I'm plugging I'm the playing. TV, sleeps my mind. Ah, bueno. Mm -hmm. Sí, ah, pues ahí es donde me... O oh, sería como el orden. It, it sleeps my mind to unplug mm -hmm. uh, the TV. Ahí está. It mind. sleeps my mind to unplug the TV. Cualquiera de las dos está bien. La okay. última eh, este, en español, ¿cómo es la primera que usted puso? La primera. Unplugging, uh -huh. unplugging no, no es, no es uh, desconectando, sino que es desconectar. Desconectar o desenchufar uh -huh. la televisión se me olvida. O oh, es que uh -huh. es, es, al revés, es al revés en este caso. El inglés es al revés. Se escribe, uh -huh. así como, está, se escribe como está acá en, en al revés, pero en español es se me olvida conectar la televisión, la televisión. Uh -huh, ambas, sí. son ambas son lo mismo en español. ¿Y por qué puso it? 
perdón. ¿Por qué puso it de primero? Sí, porque no es, no es que, que se me olvide, que, que, ¿cómo se puede explicar? Porque miren, tampoco en la primera puse I, ni en la primera. Vamos uh -huh. a ver aquí, pero me quiero poner aquí, ¿dónde está? ¿Dónde está? ¿Dónde está? ¿Dónde está? Es la última. Para que vea que no, es que no se pone, no se pone el I en esta. Esa es la más, la más complicada de, 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 de todas. Sleep, uh -huh. sleep one's mind. Más que todo se usa al final. Sí, porque como es, ya lleva el mime. Exactamente, no, no hay que ponerle otra el, el I al principio, en este caso, mira acá. Tenemos, I have pero so much pero es correcta. Si sí, yo quito el it, es correcta también, no. ¿Perdón? Tiene que ir el it. En el segundo ejemplo, usted puso it, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Sí, en este es caso, correcto. Como... ¿La puedo usar sin el it también o tiene que llevar no, el it? No se puede usar sin el it. No. No ah, puede. Ajá. Pues, no. Tiene que ir el it. Para, porque es el, el it en ese caso es el sujeto de elaboración. Ajá. Es que en este caso el, el sleep va más que todo después de la oración. Mira acá. Tengo mucho que hacer, que a veces algunas cosas se me olvidan. Some things sleep my mind. Como que algunas cosas se me, se me deslizan de la mente, se me deslizan de la mente, se me escapan. Ajá, entonces no. queda como de último. Si yo digo acá, mire, si yo digo, I sleep, espérame, qué pego eso. I sleep my mind, mind. Yo, yo, mm -hmm. no tiene sentido, yo, yo olvidar mi mente, algo así sería, no tiene mucho sentido. Tiene mucho sentido. Uh -huh. sí. Sin el it. Ajá, con el I. Si pongo el I, en este caso no funciona. No funciona correctamente. Uh -huh. Creo que es la más compleja de todas. De, aunque, aunque no se usa mucho. Se usa. Honestamente, este sleep, sleep One Mind, yo nunca lo he usado. Tenemos Forget. ¿Para qué usar el, el, el Sleep One's Mind? Si podemos usar Forget, que es mucho más fácil. Forget, Forget. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Aquí está, está ese. Los demás se usan bastante. Si déjenme comentarles que se usa el wiped out, se usa muy seguido. También a lot, to have a lot on one's plate. To settle uh -huh. down mucho, hanging there también. Este to keep one's head above the water, casi no lo uso tampoco. Yo no, nunca he visto que lo usen. Scale back one's hour, tampoco se usa mucho. Se usa más reducir de un solo reduce, que es mucho más fácil. Y la tercera Sweat. sentence. ¿Cuál? ¿Cómo quedaría? La tercera. Que había puesto. Ajá. He said, the Mondays I need to have a to do. Sería mejor, el, cuando decimos el lunes, el martes, el miércoles, etc., hasta el domingo, ese Ajá. él no es the. No. Ese, uh -huh. ese, ese él es on. On. Para decir el lunes, on Monday. Para decir el jueves, on Thursday, para decir el domingo, on Sunday. Se usa on, no se usa okay. de. Ok. Yes. Es decir, de I, on Monday, está bien. On mm. Mondays, coma, ponemos una coma ahí. Mm -hmm. I have a lot on my, tengo mucho en mi plato. On my plate. Sería así. On Mondays, I have a lot of, a, a lot, sorry, a lot on my plate. Los lunes o el lunes, bueno, aquí le puse los lunes porque le puse Mondays. Los lunes tengo mucho que hacer. Tengo mucho que hacer. Así mm -hmm. sería. Mm -hmm. Ok. Pero Ay, que sí, los, me acuerdo. Sí, sí, entiendo. Recuerden, los idioms y los phrase overs son opciones Opciones de decir cosas que ya están establecidas. ¿okay? Uh -huh. ¿Por qué? Porque tenemos este, to have once, to have a lot on one's plate. Podemos decir, hey, I have a lot of things to do. Lo más fácil. Uh -huh. I have a lot of things to do. Things to do. Uh -huh. Entonces, el idioma que está acá es una opción para poder también decir lo mismo. Uh -huh. Yes. Ok. Do you have more questions? ¿Tiene más preguntas? So far, um, 
I, I don't know. I forget. <laughs> Ya, yeah, es que también que me confundí con, con lo que le había mandado porque eh, yo lo había puesto con el ING, va. ¿Cuál? De, de lo de la plataforma. Compliant. Y usted me oh, dijo sí. que estaba más. Uh -huh. Ahí, como ese, ese es present perfect. Usamos ah, el, el, siempre el, el, el pasado participio. Uh -huh. Es con la ED o ya sea con verbos, verbos regulares y irregulares que cambian la forma. Uh -huh. Sí, así. Ok. Eh, eh, no, creo que no, Tisha. Me acuerdo. Ok. Uh -huh. well, I, uh, a todos les pregunto lo mismo después de la, después, ya por último, que si tienen alguna recomendación o sugerencias para poder mejorar la, la sesión con alguna actividad que no he incluido. Hemos tenido, hemos tenido lectura, hemos tenido este speaking, uh, writing. No ha habido mucho listening. No he incluido ninguno, ningún listening todavía. También incluido mañana o la, esta, esta, la que viene. Teacher nos debería pedir de homework, de, de, de como grabarnos. Ajá. No sé cómo. Ajá, mandar como una grabación para Eso poder escuchar nosotros. Es una buena idea. Ajá. Ok. ¿Qué más recomienda? Eso, ajá, vaya. Y este. Creo que tal vez por el tiempo, pero quizás así como. Eh, o sea, como sería una actividad, ¿verdad? nada más. Para usted la puede dar el lunes y. Ah, es para el viernes, para darnos tiempo, ¿verdad? Porque la mayoría trabajamos. Como es hacer una, una presentación de algún tema. Oh, I understand, I understand. Buena, buena. Ajá, o sea, como, como, vaya, si yo no puedo compartir aquí, yo le mando a usted como el PowerPoint y ahí yo ya empiezo a talk about the, the oh. anything, uh -huh. topic, como para, pero eso nosotros tenemos que como sacar el, el párrafo, ¿verdad? Sí, sí, entiendo. Y ahí, okay. ¿verdad? Nos, este, ajá, digamos, si hemos visto varios temas, usted puede decir, usted va a hablar de los verse, usted va a hablar de, de los idioms, ajá. Sí, buena idea, mira. Eso no, no para hacer pensé. como una, un feedback. Un ¿verdad? feedback, exactamente, exactamente. Sí. Con lo ajá. que se ha visto, ¿verdad? Yes. Ok. Mm -hmm. ¿Qué más recomienda? Excelente, buena recomendación. Este... Siento yo, bueno, esto ya es como más así, siento yo que cuando hace grupos así de, de dos, como que, es que al principio me quedó una persona y es como que se conectó y, y se quedó callado y yo, hola, 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 y, y él así como que por su lado, ¿verdad? Hmm. Entonces siento que se trabaja mejor cuando hay más de dos. Ok. Ajá, okay. entonces siento que las veces que me ha tocado, sí, o no sí, sé si es la persona, vea. Anterior, anteriormente lo que hacía era mandarlos uh, random, al azar, pero ahora lo que hago es elegir a los grupos específicos, yo los elijo quiénes van a ir en cada, en cada grupo para que no haya ningún problema, porque sí he visto que en algunos grupos que he creado, como que solo uno habla y el más no habla. Ajá. Ah, no, no. Entonces, no, no hay, no hay yo ahí. preguntándole a esa persona, porque sí. solo nosotros dos nos había tocado, y es como que él así como en mute, vea. Sí, y no, entiendo. yo aquí estoy trabajando lo mío, y yo así como que, hey, pero, o sea, vea, sí, en conjunto, vea. Sí. Entonces entiendo, siento entiendo. yo que cuando ya usted agregó de tres a cuatro, ya por lo menos dos hablamos, vea, si se quedan los sí. otros dos en mute. Sí. Ajá, entonces, pero no sé si es porque esa persona me tocó, vea. Entiendo, entiendo. Ajá. Pero sí, cuando es más que de cuatro, sí. Cinco, sí. Ya. Ok. Tres, tres o cuatro sería mucho más conveniente. En vez de dos. Sí. Okay. Sí, siento yo. Ajá. Pero entonces. Ok, ¿qué más recomienda? Eh... 
que me parece súper bien que no nos carga de tarea, porque en el anterior que estuve, era como que cada día se nos acumulaban las tareas y creo que la temática que usted lleva es como, como un feedback de, 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 de evaluación, pero uh -huh. quisiera que, que no nos diera chance de, mire, si tiene opción, dele, usted puede morar no, a la primera, como para que yo sepa dónde estoy, en qué nivel. Uh -huh. O sea, si yo le hice mal y ahí yo, yo tengo que hacer como mi... mi o sea, reconocer de qué, qué nivel más o menos estoy, que si estoy haciéndolo bien, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Como que usted, ajá, nos da como muy, mucha ancha, ¿verdad? Así como... O hacernos como... Vaya, nos va a hacer un, uno final, ¿verdad? Perdón. Un examen, un examen final. Sí, hay un final en la plataforma. Entonces, yo quisiera que, que a la primera y, y que no veamos nosotros si están buenas o no, o sea, lo mandamos y así queda, ¿verdad? que no nos dé como más chance de, de seguirlo haciendo. Sí, en ese caso, en la plataforma se puede repetir no hay problema. Ajá, eso es lo que yo no quisiera, o sea, que usted me diera chance de que, porque yo ya voy a saber cuál está mala y yo voy a poner la correcta. O sea, sí siento que no, no, o sea, no me estoy ayudando yo, pero no entiendo, siento entiendo. que es como a, a la primera y si estoy mal, tengo que hacer el feedback de eso, ¿verdad? que en eso estoy mal y en eso tengo que trabajar. Uh -huh. Ajá. Sí. sí, en ese caso vale. hay una, a, a veces sale mal y a veces sale bueno, porque en la plataforma hay, le han colocado una respuesta específica, aunque hay una variación a veces con la, con la respuesta. Y colocamos una respuesta a nosotros que parece la otra, no es la que acepta la plataforma, sino que acepta otra específica que ya está ah. establecida. Uh -huh. ah, cuando, es, cuando, cuando, cuando nosotros escribimos. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Sí, así es. More suggestions. Entonces, otra, otra, otra cosa, otra. Eh, siento yo que cuando usted dice voluntarios. Ah, la mayoría, si se fijan, no. Sí, sí. Yo siento que ahí haga lo democráticamente. O sea, si ve que alguien está callado a esa persona, porque si nos agarra así como a quemar ropa, es como que tenemos que poner atención, ¿verdad? Exacto, exacto, yes. Ajá, entonces siento yo que, que pruebe usted un día a, a que usted elige. Y usted va viendo ahí, depende de la, si le están poniendo atención, ya no han perdido y todo eso. ¿verdad? Sí, Ajá. entiendo. Sí, lo que pasa, a veces varío, a veces no hago lo voluntario, a veces directamente la agarro a uno y te pregunto, pero es casi siempre dice como cuando voluntario. Cuando dice voluntario, casi lo mismo dicen, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Sí, sí, tiene mucha razón también en eso. Lo vamos a, a, a cambiar un poco o a variarlo. Uh -huh. Buen día. Yeah. That's it, excelente, excelente. Yo estuve... Sí. Es que yo estuve en el, en el de, este, siempre de inglés básico, eh, lo terminé en el, ay, ¿cómo se llama? Este? En el centro cultural. Sí, Pero por el horario ya no seguía ahí, eh, porque no tienen ese horario. Y sí, va, lo único malo que veía yo era que mucho nos cargaban con tareas y la mayoría se quedaba atrasado con las tareas, pues. Y siento que aquí esta temática sí me, me, me gusta en ese, en ese sentido, ¿verdad? que es como una práctica de FIFA que se va haciendo de, de tarea. Uh -huh. Entiendo. Pero, ajá, eso nada más. Ok, bueno, gracias. De ahí por lo demás, mucho, bien. Por la Perdón. De ahí por lo demás, súper bien. Leo. Ok, perfecto, perfecto. Uh -huh. Bueno, le agradezco mucho por las sugerencias y las recomendaciones. Hay que ponerlas en práctica, tomarlas en cuenta porque son muy importantes. A todos les he preguntado, a todos les he preguntado y muchos me han dado buenos, buenos feedbacks, entonces ha estado bien. Sí, gracias Verónica, que descanses, nos vemos mañana. Ha sido un placer. Gracias, igual, teacher. Bye bye. Good night. Good night.